The Godzilla vs Kong trailer depicts Godzilla as the villain, despite him being shown as the hero in his two previous movies. Throughout the trailer, the Titan is shown laying waste to cities and unleashing a reign of terror all around the world. The motives behind which seem to be baffling experts and kept the fandom buzzing. We still aren't sure as to why Godzilla is going all crazy in this movie, but most speculation suggests that Mecha Godzilla is behind all this madness, disguising as Godzilla just like in the old Toho times. But interestingly, this is not the first time Godzilla portrays himself as the antagonist. In fact, there are a bunch of movies in which the big G gives the planet Earth a hell of a time to live in. Let's get him straight. Number 10. Godzilla vs. Biollante Throw in good music, an engaging secret agent villain, and a great Godzilla costume for easily one of the best movies in the franchise. The film wastes no time in getting Godzilla back into action and is more about stopping Godzilla, which is a thrill ride watching humans come up with new solutions to stop the Big G's madness. We get to see Godzilla destroying the military setups as well as some spectacular city-destroying scenes and in between all that, we get to see a couple of well-choreographed monster fights, especially when Biollante unleashed her final form. Godzilla vs. Biollante is an exceptional movie on nearly all fronts. Number 9. Godzilla vs. Mothra 1992 Sometimes called Godzilla and Mothra, the battle for Earth, just to differentiate it from prior film Mothra vs. Godzilla – more on that one later. Here's one of the lighter movies featuring an evil Godzilla. The film shows Godzilla, Mothra, and Batra in a triple threat contest to protect Mother Earth. Despite the shaky pacing, the battles are intense, an underwater fight provides a unique setting, with lengthy clashes that take advantage of each monster's strengths. Batra is also a popular addition to the franchise, and many fans hope to see him in future films. Number 8. King Kong vs. Godzilla 1962 Being the first movie of its kind in color, let alone battling each other, resulting in a titanic ordeal that drew audiences to the big screen. And there are several triumphs within. Both monsters are well executed, with neither outplaying the other in battle or screen time. Along with Mr. Taiko, a surprisingly entertaining human character, even the outcome of the final battle is debatable. Some say Kong won. Others say it was a draw, and still others believe Godzilla should have won due to Kong's unusual lightning power-up. Let's see how the Monsterverse goes about it this time. Accompanied by some awkward dialogues and the movie's special effects show their age, but despite some imperfections, the concept here is so good that it is definitely worth a watch. Yeah, you better watch the original first before diving into the 31st of March. Number 7. The Return of Godzilla 1984 In its American release, this film was dubbed in English for the Godzilla 1985, and it serves as both a sequel and a remake of the original, ignoring other events from the Showa era. Godzilla returns to his roots of terrorizing Tokyo as the military scrambles to destroy him under their Super X flying fortress. At the time, this was the biggest and scariest Godzilla yet and it fit the tone of the film and also the miniatures perfectly. However, the human characters, eh, not so memorable, and the film suffered from poor editing between its Japanese and American versions. So if possible, choose a subtitled return over a dubbed 1985. Number 6. Godzilla – Tokyo SOS 2003 The sequel to Godzilla against Mechagodzilla – more on that one soon again features a heroic man-made mecha Godzilla called Kiryu, defending Tokyo from Godzilla's wrath. The biggest issue with the film is how it shelves its predecessor's likable human cast, who either appear briefly or are written out completely, replacing them with less interesting protagonists. But aside from that, it's a worthy sequel to one of the best Godzilla movies ever made, featuring great action, music, and three of the most popular Godzilla kaiju. Number 5. 
Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. Giant Monsters All Out Attack 2001. Often shortened to Godzilla GMK, this movie has an interesting premise that, like the original, emphasizes the consequences of World War II, with Godzilla being possessed by the spirits of World War II's victims. Godzilla here is a beast, probably the scariest ever, wiping the floor with Ghidorah, Mothra, and Baragon. It takes the combined efforts of multiple kaiju and the military to take him down, and even then, he's implied to survive. And just look at this movie poster. Some fans criticize Ghidorah being heroic, but I find it an interesting reversal, not atypical for the series. Godzilla, Mechagodzilla, and other kaiju often switch sides between continuities. The story is mediocre, but if you just want to see a terrifying Godzilla trounce his desperate opponents, this is the movie for you. Number 4. Godzilla Original it's interesting that the Big G in his debut film is portrayed as an antagonist rather than a savior of Mother Earth. No campy kaiju opponent, no annoying kid character, just a dangerous and thought-provoking allegory for the ramifications of nuclear weapons. We often see Godzilla and other monsters destroy cities, but rarely do we feel it like we do here, getting an uncensored look at the lives destroyed in the process. This one is still my all-time go-to. Number 3. Shin Godzilla 2016 Shin Godzilla isn't for everyone, but like the recently Red Monster, the film has its own unique identity. Godzilla is seen to evolve throughout this movie, gradually gaining strength, which I think is a nice idea that's never been explored to this extent. The action scenes are strong, Godzilla is fittingly terrifying, and unlike many of his films, there isn't a forced plot involving random civilians. The human elements are divisive, with a strong emphasis on how scientists and politicians react and plan to destroy Godzilla. Though they provide some real insight into how a government might deal with such a unique threat, they tend to drag behind layer upon layer of bureaucracy. But despite its flaws, it's a unique venture with highly questionable setups that leads to big payoffs in the action scenes. Number 2. Godzilla Against Mecha Godzilla 2002 the name on this one cracks me up, substituting against since versus was taken years before. But it's vastly different from the earlier Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. In 45 years after Godzilla devastated Tokyo, he returns, setting the whole of Japan scrambling to find a way to stop him. To do this, the nation's top minds come together to assemble a biomechanical robot off the original Godzilla skeleton, and therefore Kiryu was created. Godzilla gets a makeover returning to the 2000 look, which appears to be slimmer and more threatening. The fight that concludes the film is one of the franchise's most entertaining, and in many scenes, Godzilla savagely dominates over his mechanical foe like a boss. Number 1. Mothra vs. Godzilla In this movie, Papa Goji rises up from beneath the earth once again to rampage the whole nation. Out of desperation, humanity must set aside its pride and call for the help of an aging Mothra to stop the mayhem. Aside from a few clumsy moments, he's almost on par with the original, pushing his way through every plan that the military has. This setup is a wise choice because it provides a nice contrast to Mothra. Meanwhile, Godzilla is unrelenting, unforgiving, and brutish. Mothra is righteous, forgiving, and fragile. These differences make their matchup all the more appropriately dramatic and gives the film a real thematic stakes that frankly is missing in most of Toho's timeline. The battle between Godzilla and Mothra is the highlight, and while brief, it's visceral and surprisingly realistic. Mothra tries her best to keep Godzilla on the defensive, but all it takes is one atomic blast from the bad boy Goji to take her down. So, that was all of the bad boy versions of The King of the Monsters. It seems that the MonsterVerse is finally borrowing the idea of the Godzilla causing mayhem image and is using it to the maximum potential in GVK. We all can't wait for the release date, and I bet that this movie will have the best of everything compared to their last three Hollywood takeovers. This is Factolic signing off. Go GVK!